Thanks again for stopping by, everybody. This is Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Really pleased to have you here this evening. Have a wonderful French wine to try today. This is the 2015 Cor Bellevue. Uh, this is coming out of the Minervois region of, uh, of France, and uh, that's going to be located in languedoc Roussillon, uh, kind of to the south of the country, very close to the Spanish border. Uh, pick this up for $5.99 at the grocery outlet in uh, Petaluma, and uh, very excited to try it. Uh, 2015 was an excellent vintage for the area, and um, though you really don't know much about the wine, I did as much digging as I could, and all I could kind of figure out was that uh, the wine was bottled uh, under the auspices of a company called the Chili Wine Solutions, uh, based out of a, a Bordeaux. And uh, I would imagine it was uh, kind of just an opportunity to take some pretty good fruit and uh, see what you can do on the export market by using a sort of generic uh, name. Uh, so. I guess it didn't go so well because it did end up on the grocery outlet shelf. Uh, but that said, uh, when you do have a, a banner vintage, typically it's one of those uh, rising tide raises all boats sort of things. And you usually can find some pretty good value uh, when you have a very good vintage like the 2015. So I'm um, very excited about the uh, opportunity to try this wine. It looks uh, like it's going to be super. So um, let's go ahead and uh, see what we have. Uh, with the wine itself. Um, now the wine, uh, there are a couple of rules in Minervois you've got to follow. Uh, and, and primarily it's because you need to be a GSM. So uh, of your uh, blend, uh, which it must be a blend, your uh, blend must have a minimum of 20% of Syrah Morved, and then there must be a blend of 60% of Grenache Syrah and Morved. Uh, the balance can be a number of other minor grapes, including uh, Carignan, uh, among other grapes uh, that we've probably never heard of. But uh, it essentially is a GSM. And uh, you know we've certainly tried some different GSMs from around the world here uh, on the on the program. And uh, I, I have a feeling that this this particular region is really where things got started with that. Um, Minervois uh, stems from Minerva. Minerva, Minerva being the goddess, uh, the Greek goddess of war, among uh, other attributes, uh, the equivalent being the um, the Roman goddess Athena, and. Um, Apparently, wine has really been made since literally Roman and Greek times. So there is just an immense amount of history in this particular part of the world. And uh, it, it certainly is as worth digging around and seeing what the, what the, uh, the rest of the world is, is drinking besides uh, California Cab and California Chardonnay. We certainly need to get out of that paradigm as quickly as possible. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we have uh, on the wine here. And uh, it's really just loaded with all sorts of good stuff. So immediately I'm getting violets, I'm getting uh, some plum, I'm getting uh, some balsamic, uh, also getting a fantastic uh, garrigue, which is a typical Syrah kind of roan component, uh, kind of that brushy uh, shrub shrubbery you get in those hot valleys. Uh, also getting a little bit of tar and leather component, which uh, is very, very fascinating. It's just the most complex nose uh, I think I've tried in, in a couple of uh, months. I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the palate. And boy, we have a big wine. There is a lot of uh, big tannins on this one. A lot of black tea, a lot of tobacco. Um, you do have a little bit of uh, black fruit, a little bit of boysenberry, a little bit of blackberry. Um, but really, this is a more terroir-driven wine. It's um, it's it's got kind of a, a a tanginess, which is great acidity. It's it is uh, it's almost reminiscent of, of of a kind of a food wine more than a than a than a pleasurable wine. But it just has a lot of structure. It has a lot of uh, complexity. Uh, the finish is nice and long. Uh, in the finish you actually get a little bit of the barrel influence uh, with it, but Primarily, this is just uh, one of those, again, kind of classifying it as a, a not fruit forward 
fruit bomb jammy kind of style. It's it's really about earthiness. It's really about kind of leatheriness and uh, really kind of chewy uh, tannins. Uh, uh, really actually big structure and I'm super excited about it because I think this is the kind of wine that you could literally let sit around for a couple of days and it's going to be just as good as it is right now when we just opened it. So a uh, really great steal of a deal. I'm super excited. So the uh, 2015 uh, Cour Bellevue. This is uh, coming out of the Minervois region of, uh, of France, languedoc Roussillon. And um, make sure you stop by and pick up a bottle, or if you can, now that we know 2015 was a great vintage, uh, pretty much anything in Bordeaux and, and surrounding areas might be just worth a flyer if you can find it, because um, I think you're going to find some good undiscovered gems out there that people have looked over, like this one. Uh, really terrific. So, uh, Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce, uh, always pleased to have you, and uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the tasting room. Enjoy the rest of your day.